for the population mean? There are some series of steps that we need to learn to be able to come up with ways on how to estimate our population parameter. Now for this word problem, from a normally distributed population, we took an SRS of 500 students with a mean score of 461 on the math section of the SAT. Suppose the standard deviation of the population is 100, what is the estimated mean for the 95% confidence level for this particular population? Now the first step in performing confidence interval or computing for the confidence interval is to organize your given values. Now in the word problem, we are given the sample size which is 500, and 500 students and we know that it's the sample because it's from the simple random sample of 500 students. So n is equal to 500. Now our sample mean is also gi given which is 461 points because it came from the SRS of 500 students. Now the confidence level is 0.95 and the population standard deviation is equal to 100 points which is given in this part of our word problem. Now that we have organized all the given numerical values in our confidence interval um, inference, we're ready to work with step number two, which is a very important step in performing inferential statistics, and that is verifying your conditions. Now the two conditions that we need to verify in sample mean is one, is the sample randomly selected, and two, is the sample came from a population which is normally distributed. Both of these conditions are satisfied from the word problems, and it says here that the sample came from a normally distributed population. So the population is normal, and two, it is also randomly selected because it's from an SRS of 500 students, which basically means simple random sample. Now that we have verified our conditions, we are ready to work with our statistical work and uh, rely on our answer because we have satisfied our conditions. Now for step number three, we need to find the Z star for our normal distribution. And to find the Z star of 0.95, it's given by the formula 1 minus C all over 2, which is 1 minus 0.95 divided by 2, which will give us a value and that value is needed to be found on your Z table or your calculator and in your calculator just push inverse normal and you'll find 1.960 so the Z star for 0.95 is equal to 1.960 which is needed in the formula in finding the confidence interval of your population mean and that will be our step number four our statistical work in finding the range of values that will estimate our population mean so on our step number four, I have organized all my numerical values here given by the problem. We have the confidence level of 0.95, sample size of 500, the sample mean of 461 points, standard deviation from the population which is 100, and the Z star which we computed is equal to 1.960. Now the formula for finding the confidence interval for population mean is given by X bar plus or minus Z star multiplied by sigma all over the square root of n. Now this is our illustration for our normal distribution and we are working on the 95% confidence level so the width of our distribution is about 95%. Now we understand that the population mean is unknowable so we're not going to be able to compute for the exact value of this center. But what we can do is find the two values which will give us the range of values that will estimate our population parameter. And that's what we're going to do by direct substitution and plugging in all the values that we have here from the word problems in our formula. So we'll have 461 plus or minus 1.960 times 100 all over the square root of 500. By using your calculator, simplifying your expression, and you'll have 461 plus or minus 1.960 times the standard error, which is 4.72, which is basically 100 divided by square root of 500. And if you multiply this two together, you will have your margin of error, which gives you 8.765. Now, to find the range of values, just add and subtract 8.765 from 461, and you'll get 
452.23 and 469.77. So that means that the true population mean will be captured by our interval which is 452.23 and for this one is 469.77. Now to summarize what we just did, to write it all out, we are 95% confident that the true population mean score of the math section of the SAT lies between 452.23 points and 469.77 points.